What's going on guys and welcome to the very first episode of the newly rebranded channel formerly three wide we are now officially seriously fast media so seriously fast media came about because if you don't know I own seriously fast diecast I sell diecast cars I sell whatever you got whatever you want if you guys want a flag I got probably about 15 so did a change because it looks like I did a little more digging. I wanted to trademark, copyright, whatever you want to call it. Somebody actually owns three wide, so I admit it. I didn't do as much digging as I should have, and I apologize about that, guys. So now we are Seriously Fast Media and the Seriously Fast group. So welcome. I want to thank you guys for all your continued support, regardless of the name of the channel. You guys who purchased diecast from me, who have uh, helped with the Patreon, who have helped uh, with sharing and subscribing and telling your friends everything. I want to thank you guys big time. So as of two days ago, I am now officially an affiliate of Rowdy Energy. So I want to pop this open here. I got a package here. You can't really see it because of the angle of the camera. I got this big old heavy box here full of Rowdy Energy. Um, I ordered, I went online to order a new case because I ran out and well I saw the affiliate program so I have had a couple people who have purchased from using my code which will be in the description below so I appreciate all of you guys for the support definitely 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 appreciate the support thank you guys so I don't know about you guys but one of my favorite I gotta say my all-time favorite flavor of Rowdy Energy has got to be, and, and I'm not a big citrus fan. Oh, I get this pulled open. But they do have citrus, but it's the cherry limeade. So I'm a huge fan of the cherry limeade. I'm actually gonna crack one of those open right now because I've been, I ran out of Rowdy and I've been waiting for the shipment. FedEx just dropped it off as I was setting up the camera. So thank you, FedEx. Uh, let's get this cracked open here. I love it. All right, so back anyway to the channel. Got a lot of NASCAR news this week. A lot of great fun news. Some new paint schemes, new sponsors, and a little bit of uh, speculation, I guess is a good word for it. So we'll start with the speculation. We'll move on to the news next. So first ounce of speculation. So Natalie Decker posted a few days ago on her Twitter and on Facebook that she is... She has a new contract coming. Uh, that new contract will be available for us to know the details of. Not obviously how much she's getting paid and all that stuff, but who, what, when, where. Probably within the next couple days, I'm hoping, because she left that uh, kind of out of the bag. She had a picture, posted a picture of herself, big smile on her face, and with some contracts spread out on the table. And she goes and... Uh, it's all blurred out, so you can't see it. But here's the speculation. So the logo, which was not clearly on the paper, um, you know, not quite like uh, not quite like the Rowdy logo, is all blurred out. So being blurred out, you can't really see. But it did kind of look, and let's be honest with ourselves, it looked like Motorsports Business Management logo. Could be wrong, could be a little different, could be some a new team, I don't know. But the Motorsports Business Management logo is big, bold, very easy to see, very easy to spot, and if you know what it looks like, you're going to catch it. So does that mean Natalie Decker's going to Xfinity next year? Is she going to run full-time, part-time? We don't know. We'll find out. So anyway, back to real news, not speculations. So you've got... Uh, Today is 15 days the Daytona 500, guys, so keep that in mind. 15 days. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I can't wait. That means less than, man, not even two weeks until cars are on track, guys. <laughs> wait, what? Um, so anyways, so speaking of Daytona, so the Trioval Grass, they released, Daytona shared pictures of the Trioval Grass, so you've got the big giant 
you've got the big giant Daytona emblem surrounded by a big giant Daytona racetrack done into the grass. And then that the whole the rest of the trioval is covered in a checkered flag. So that looks really, really cool, guys. Go check that out. I should, I might post a comment. Uh, if you guys go to the Twitter or the Instagram, uh, that will be on there. So Seriously Fast Media on Instagram and Seriously Fast Media on Twitter, that will be on there if you guys want to see that. That is really cool looking. Um, as, as will be a lot more news. I'm going to post a lot more news on those. I, I got to get cracking on that, guys. I apologize. So anyways, um, and then... In terms of sponsorship, um, Brad Keselowski's Keystone Light car that everybody saw, everybody shared it all over Instagram, everybody shared it on Twitter, everybody knows what it looks like. It's official. So Molson Canadian, or sorry, Molson Coors wanted to get rid of Miller. Miller no longer is sponsoring NASCAR, uh, or, or a NASCAR. Sorry. Um, so with that being said, they still want to compete. They still want to show. So they are going with a little more down market, a little more down scale. So they're going from Miller down to Keystone Light. If you guys are old enough, you guys have ever gone through that beer aisle, you know there's a little bit of price difference there. I have. So um, Molson's going from Miller to Keystone for one race, and that is going to be the Coke 600, the same race that uh, Brad Keselowski won last year in his Miller Light car. So we've all seen it. It's blue, Keystone Light. It's got the can. It looks very reminiscent to a direct competitor. This car. To be honest with you, whoever designed that car got a little on the lazier side. And that was Anheuser Busch's Bush beer car, um, especially from back in the day. I'm sure you guys remember on Kevin Harvick's car, he used to have the can on the rear quarter, back here on the rear quarter. Um, pouring beer out or whatever they did something a little different all of them do it i'm not saying they're cheating or copying that was just a joke bite me um so they are going a little more directly competitive to kevin harvick so kevin harvick bush beer lower tier than budweiser or bud light um and then you've got keselowski with keystone which is a little lower than miller and miller light um and then, of course, they're going to go head-to-head -head on the racetrack, too. You know those guys are going to race each other at some point during the season. I'm excited. I can't wait. So, keeping it along in terms of new sponsors, Track House has two new sponsors. One is K1 Karting, which is America's number one indoor karting uh, company. They are going to be sponsoring the number 99 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 LE. Um, they are going to be – it's a very, very – bright black and red sponsorship car it's very sharp it's very aggressive it's modernly styled i love it and then they also added another sponsor which is really cool to see that new young team get sponsorship now how long they're going to sponsor for how many races i don't know we'll find out and you guys will know then but they are going to be adding pump it up which i believe is a party company if i'm not mistaken and they're going to be sponsoring the daytona 500 Okay, for them. So that should be pretty cool. Um, so it's like I said, it's really good to see them get on there. Um, whether that has to do with uh, Marks or Pitbull coming on, I don't know how the sponsorship works with them. I don't know if that's something that um, Daniel Suarez pulled on. Not sure. But anyway, so to the next bit of news, and this one's not exactly sponsorship, but speaking of cool paint schemes. You've got Justin Allgaier adding a new paint scheme to that number seven. So you've got the a very aggressive red, black, and yellow paint scheme. Um, very sharp. Again, very modern, very cool looking paint scheme. But the really cool thing is if you look at the yellow, you zoom it in on your phone. The yellow is actually corn. It's freaking sweet. I love it. Super excited. And then if you went on Twitter at all yesterday, you saw Noah Gregson, Allgaier's teammate, had a big giant number seven on the side of his car, or I'm sorry, on the side of his Tahoe, and it was corn. It was exactly what NASCAR would, does not allow Junior Motorsports to do, and that is fill the number in with corn kernels. And it was it's very cool. Noah, big thumbs up, man. That is really cool of you to do that. 
Come on, NASCAR. Change the rules. As long as it's not, like, stupid, let the teams and drivers and sponsors inside the number. Even if it's just for, I don't know, a special weekend. Do it. Please. The NASCAR fandom is begging you, NASCAR. Let's do it. Um, so, Kyle Larson's first sponsor also released this weekend, or sorry, this week, and that is Nations Guard. Nations Guard is a dealership's uh, warranty company. So any of you guys who have ever been old enough to go out to a dealership, purchase a car, I'm sure you've been in the finance office, the finance manager says, all right, now would you like to buy an extended warranty? I do recommend it. These cars these days, the technology is great, but it breaks. Big advice. I sell cars. It's what I do for a living. Buy the warranty. If, if you plan on keeping the car a long time, it saves you huge. I use I say that from experience, and I work at the dealership. Um, anyways, so Nations Guard is a dealership warranty company out of the Hendrick Automotive Group, um, and they they sell dealership warranty and what we call in the business back end product. Uh, so any type of warranty stuff like that. So. It's very cool. It is a literally a copy paste of Ricky Hendrick's car from when he was in the five in the Bush series, what is now the Xfinity series, um, except for the numbers, or sorry, not the numbers, the colors have changed. The colors went from the blue, red, white, and blue to green and black, and it looks really, really good. Thumbs up to Kyle Larson and Hendrick Motorsports. I love the fact that they brought that paint scheme back. Uh, I didn't even notice that until somebody posted on Twitter. Um, a few people shared that on Twitter. They are absolutely 100% dead on, and I think it looks fantastic. Um, so last but not least in terms of news, so Drew Dollar is going to be feel your, you know, your ARCA Series champion. I was there. Watch the video. Uh, I will be posting it later today, probably, maybe tomorrow. Uh, basically a compilation of all my video um, footage from the second day, Saturday, from the NASCAR uh, championship weekend. I know I'm two months late. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think about it. That's my bad. But and nonetheless, if you want to see some cool footage, if you guys are fans of Michigan Diecast, Too Fast, Too Crew, um, you know, a couple of the guys on Instagram, go on there and see them. I will probably Monday, probably starting Monday, I'll have that up here somewhere or over here. I don't know. I'll have it linked. But anyways, so um, he... Drew Dollar is going to be fielding the number 51 Toyota Tundra for eight races in 2021 for Kyle Busch Motorsports. So that's pretty cool. Good to see that. Um, so it's good to see a lot of these young ARCA guys coming up, including Ty Gibbs. He's getting a big jump, um, but look who Grandpa is. So a little different there. Anyway, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the description below. Hit that link. Buy yourself some Rowdy. You help support the channel. It's very refreshing. You got electrolytes, caffeine, um, green tea, 60% less sugar, endurance and focus, enhanced hydration energy. I love this stuff. I just bought, what is it? 12 of these, 12 of the cherry limeade. So guys, go check it out. Grab yourself a four pack, a six or a four pack, a 12 pack. Grab the assorted pack. Try them all. I highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day and support the channel. I truly do appreciate it.